Welcome back for lesson four of the HTML tutorial. And at this point, we're going to continue by inserting some graphics. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we have to get some graphics. And so what I'd like you to do is go to Safari, do a command T for Tom. And then once you do that, you'll get another tab opening up in Safari. And I want you to go to my personal website, which is www.fujiwara.ca and just click enter. Okay. Uh, my screen it's a little bit small just because of, <laughs> I've had to compress it for the video but uh, if you click on once you're there if you click on resources and then click on online HTML resources and then sample graphics and then in sample graphics I have um, a pile of graphics that you could use and if you want to see more you can click next here and you'll get more different graphics if you like in this case I'm just gonna use the ones off the first page just because it's very common for me to use these and I guess I will take let's take the flying book hey okay, now if you want to take this one all you have to do is right click on it okay and if you're on a Mac that you haven't set up the right click hold down the control key and click click and then you'll get these options and then you want to do save image as. Don't put it in the downloads folder since we're putting everything on the desktop right now. So save image as. And then we're going to give it a decent name, not one book wings MD white. And you have to retain this .gif extension. That's very important. So I'm just going to call it book. It makes it easier for me to type in. And again, I'm going to leave it on my desktop with my other file there. So if I click there, and I can't see the enter button, so I'm just going to hit enter there and it saves it. Now, in order to actually put it into my page, and I'm just going to switch back to my page here, I'm going to put it in down here, I have to go back to my Smoltron page, and below here, I'm going to teach you another tag, because I'd like it to skip a line before I actually put in the image. I'm going to put in the paragraph tag, which is a simple tag again. It's the P tag, and again, if I type in the opening tag, I immediately want to type in the closing tag. And I'm just going to scroll down a bit so you can see those closing tags there. Now, this tag to put in a graphic is called the image tag. So it's IMG. And this is the third of the self-closing tags that you're going to learn. So you put in a slash and then a closing. So in order for this to actually function though, obviously you won't see anything there because it's just an IMG tag. It doesn't indicate what kind of graphic it is. We have to put in an attribute. So in this case, so we put in a space to indicate we're putting in an attribute. The attribute is source or SRC. Now in your lifetime, you're gonna make a mistake where you put in SCR and for the life of you, me, for the life of you, you're not gonna spot it. Happens to almost everybody. So just remember, source is SRC. And in this case, you wanna make sure that the graphic is located in the exact same location as the web page that you're typing. So in this case, my web page is on my desktop and I save the graphic on my desktop as well. So I don't have to say, go look for it in this location. I just have to put in the name of the graphic, which as you can recall, I changed to book.gif. Okay, so if I save that now, and I go back to my web page and I click refresh, there's my book. Okay. Now, just a couple things to play with. The paragraph tag I also put in here because if you ever want to change the alignment of where that graphic goes, you can use the paragraph tag for alignment. So if I put a space here and add the attribute align equals, and then in quotes, if I put in center, spelt the American way since this was uh, created in the US, and then click reload, it obviously centers. And then I could obviously choose right and put it on the right side as well. Now, a lot of people sit there and say, can I put in multiple graphics? I say, yes, you can. And they say, is there an attribute that I add for multiple graphics? No, there isn't. If you want multiple graphics, you literally have to duplicate this tag over and over and over again. So I'm gonna put in five of them. So I'll just add, I'll copy this, so I've highlighted it, and I'll go Command C. And then what I'll do is I will copy it four more times. One, two, three, four. Now I've got five of those pictures all centered on screen. I click here and I reload and now I've got five simultaneously flying books. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna call this one here and we're gonna go into links in the next um, 
next lesson.